Hi everyone, Santul Kumar here. Welcome back to Stock Phoenix Learning, and please subscribe us in StockPhoenix.com. Register with us and uh, uh, be in touch with us so that uh, we can you can get all the learning videos on regular basis. And also please subscribe us on YouTube, Stock Phoenix. Uh, search for the channel Stock Phoenix and uh, subscribe. Click to subscribe and subscribe the channel. Next, click on our Telegram channel and subscribe there also, where you will be getting instant updates on markets, Indian stock market. Okay, so let's start uh, for the today's learning. And today we are going to see what is a stock. Today we are going to see what is a stock. So everyone knows, everyone trades in stock. Everyone is very curious about stock market trading. So let's see what is stock and and uh, how these all uh, things works. Let's see. So stocks are securities that represents an ownership of a small share in a company. Stocks are securities that represents ownership of a small share in a company. That means, say like for example, if you are buying 100 shares in ABC Limited, so you will be a small, you will be owner of the small part of the company, so which is a share. A stock is an investment. When you purchase a company stock, you are purchasing a small piece of that company called as a share. So it's not that you are not owning the complete company, you are uh, owning a small piece of the company. For companies, issuing stock is a way to raise money to grow and invest in their business. So they will not lend, they instead of borrowing uh, for their further business expansions from bank, they give a small share, a percentage, say like for example. 100% is the company net worth, they give 5%, 6%, 7%, up to 12%, 25%. They issue us a equities and give it, distribute to public. They collect funds and with these funds, they invest in their business and they grow further. For investors, stocks are way to grow their money and outspace inflation over the time. So stock growth is 100% it is risk, but on a... Uh, course of time it will give you exponential growth exponential growth subject to risk subject to risk please remember that so and when you own a stock you are called a shareholder because you are a share you share in the company's profits you share in the company's profits so what about loss we'll see that later on public companies sell their stocks so which all companies will come into uh, listed uh, or selling their stocks it will be like it will be a public limited company which is listed in NSC, BSC or any other stock exchange, predominantly NSC and BSC. So modern stock trading. In the past, shares were represented on a piece of paper as a certificate. Previously, it was a, a piece of paper which was issued as a certificate. When a person wants to purchase shares, they need to physically visit the office of a broker and make a transaction there where they would receive the actual share certificates. Say like for example, Reliance is there for the last 50 years. So if you want to buy Reliance shares, so you have to go to some broker, not Reliance office. You have to go to some broker and you have to apply for, I need a shares of this particular company. What is getting traded in the current market price? And they will get a physical shares. Today, physical share certificates are rarely screened. I'll say like today it is completely scrapped and that is the duration or the validity of the physical share certificate is over. Brokers keep document electronically, which is called as dematerialized what are the factors affects share price there are many factors which is affecting the share price that is global economy sector performance government policies natural disaster investor investor sentimentals and other factors so these are all the major factors which is one related to other and these all affects the growth of the share and downtrend of the shares type of shares there are two main types of shares Common and preferred, a common stock. Common stock is a security that represents ownership in a corporation. Holders uh, holders of common stock elect the board of directors and vote on corporate policies. The form of equity ownership is typically yield higher rates of return. That is in long term. In long However, in the event of liquidation, common shareholders have rights to the company's assets only after bonding. Bondholders, preferred shares, preferred shareholders and other debt holders are paid in full so common stock is reported as the stockholders equity selection of a company balance sheet 
preference preference stock or preferred stock that means preference shares are most commonly referred as preferred stocks and are shares of company stock with dividends that are paid to the out uh, uh, paid out to the shareholders before common stock dividend is issued if the company enters in bankruptcy uh, bankruptcy preferred stockholders are entitled to paid from company assets before common stockholders most preference see it's very simple we are playing a role of preferred stockholders that means we as a retail trader we as a retail trader what we do is we invest in the stocks in a very little uh, amount say like we'll buy for 2 lakhs 5 lakhs 10 lakh 15 lakhs even 20 lakh 50 lakhs in a particular company where the uh, total value of the company stocks which is there in the market itself will be around 10000 15000 or 25000 crores okay so we are a part of that particular uh, uh, denominations what we get is we get the profits as a dividends where the other uh, common stock holdings we don't have to care about because that comes into the main investors the main investors or the board directors so those categories benefits of owning the stocks and share in a company stocks are share in a company claim on assets again this is like uh, 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 how to say this this is this process usually does not happens so what they are telling is once the company is trying to liquidate that means when the, once the company is uh, faces uh, faces the liquidation then after the creditors are paid whoever the company has borrowed it will be paid after that you can take the assets which is left out which is not usually happens you can leave this so dividends and capital gains so these are the main important uh, factors which we take benefit so what happens say like for example you bought a share of 100 rupees into 1000 shares so for this 1000 shares okay you get a dividend of 2 or 3 rupees per quarter or per uh, half year or per yearly basis as per the company policy and also you are holding this for 5 years approximately i am telling in general for an example there is no committed returns in stock market if someone is committing returns in stock market it's a pure scam so please be aware of that say like for example 5 years back you bought this stock at 100 rupees and today if it is trading at 550 rupees so you get the capital gains the investment was 100 rupees and today it was today it is 550 rupees so you get the capital gains and the dividends which are all the direct benefit for us next power to vote so you can vote where again this is like uh, we don't actively participate we have the power to vote in the electing the board of directors all those things usually a common man does not have a big role in this limited reliability it's a very big 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 plus points assume that you want to start a company like tcs do you think is it possible do you want to start a company like hcl tech or vedanta or uh, tata motors do you think is it possible no right so whatever may be the fund it is not at all sufficient so in you can buy a shares of those companies bifurcation you can you can bifurcate and invest and take the benefits where some company becomes default or if the company ends into loss if the company ends into loss you don't have to pay back anything to the company where the amount of investment will be uh, will become zero so that is the uh, in clear term in nutshell say like for example you are investing one lakh so invest 10k into 10 companies okay 10k into 10 companies so all the nine companies are performing well and one company is getting into loss unfortunately so i pray it should not happen so unfortunately when one company paid into when went into loss say like what happened in the lakshmi vilas bank so like that case whatever the funds you invested in that particular company will become invalid or it will become zero right so this is the limit this is called as limited liability which is the best part in investment okay so these are the basic uh, things about stocks so let's see how a stock is formed ipo fpo everything we will see in the next uh, learning session so uh, keep watching our youtube channel for more videos so uh, more interesting videos are yet to start the money management knowledge series uh, everything is yet to start so what what we are seeing is a very basic sessions which is which cannot be avoided for the beginners okay so thanks a lot myself santil kumar so please 
enroll us in stockphoenix.com to get more updates thanks a lot